Hey guys, welcome back. Um, join us today here, we're gonna take a little walk. This is not gonna be the ABC how-to video. Uh, I do have all of my bases covered. I've got everything in my pack, but I know that I'm gonna be spending the night out here tonight, so I've gone ahead and put in my sleeping bag and a ground tarp and a proper good three by three meter fly. It's a little bit bigger of a backpack, but I know for sure I'm heading out here, so I'm planning on spending the night. I don't wanna do it uh, completely rough. I do want to be able to get up and have a decent sleep so that I can get up early tomorrow and get out and see if I can't tip over a deer or some goats. The last time I was up in this area, I did see a couple of goats around. So I'm not going to be too picky today. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to uh, I'm going to stalk around and I'm see if I can't put it all together. I've decided to come out today by myself. Just stopped raining. It's cool. It's still very very chilly. As you can see, the wood pigeons here in the background they're just chilling out. They're not really moving anywhere. They're not doing anything. It's going to be windy and possibly rain overnight so we're going to do a good enclosed fly shelter um, we're not just going to sleep out and let the wind whip, whip around us today so come on along guys it's uh, my pleasure to take you out here into the wild uh, i'm actually about 1400 uh, meters into the tramp and this is always a good time to stop just reevaluate if you're properly dressed on myself i was sweating balls so i took my jacket off i actually got a pair of leggings on underneath these some polypros i'm going to whack those off as well chuck them back in the pack my hunting trousers are plenty warm and they're actually a little bit water shower repellent. So I'm gonna go with just those and that'll be able to speed up or at least maintain uh, my current speed of travel. And that way I won't have to, um, I won't overheat, I won't sweat, I won't have to stop, I won't have to drink so much water, I won't sweat so much of my moisture out. Uh, likely to go a little bit further with the water that I do carry. successfully arrowed a young billy goat. I am a little bit far back and he's still alive, but he's bleeding out. I'm just gonna chill out here for a few minutes and let him finish expiring. But I hit him slightly quartering towards a little bit further back than I would have liked. So now it's three o'clock, so I'm gonna have to do this one sort of quick. Gotta get him cleaned up and back up the hill. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, make a little bit of fire and have a leg for dinner. That'll be really cool. Guys, we'll see how this goes. So a billy goat, he ran off over here. He's tucked up inside of this little bush. Another arrow in his shoulder here. I deliberately didn't film shooting him a second time. It's something I did to help it not prolong the suffering. So, got another arrow into it, but it looks to have been a very solid connection with his shoulder. I'm gonna give it a few minutes, but I'm not convinced that I got very good penetration there. I'm almost inclined to leave him here and go back to camp and mark him with the GPS and just come back and get him in the morning. Hey guys, so we're just out here crawling along. I'm just on the way back up the hill um, from that goat. Now that, uh, whoop, that ended badly for the goat. Uh, he had copped a couple of, a 
couple of arrows, and uh, he lost that fight. So, poor goat, he's gone, he's down. Call that an act of conservation. This is a smelly big old breeding billy goat. Um, well, the reason I stop here to uh, to start filming here a little piece is just, I just wanted to show you something I'm coming through. This is a really, really cool little spot if you can see in the background here of me. It's tons and tons and tons of small little, you know, poles. Ooh. Straight dead, some of them are pretty rotten. Some of them are okay. There's heaps and heaps and heaps of them out here. And um, they're really handy for building stuff because a lot of them are already on the ground. They're light, they're, they're straight, they're, they're perfect. So I actually wanted to show you. This is a place that I've stayed before. I've come out here and shot a goat once before, actually, right from the same ridge. I just creeped up on these ones. But I built myself this because the problem here is obviously it's very steep in this little gut. So I needed to level the ground. I built myself a wee little platform. So it's basically just cribbed up in the back corner over here, um, backwards and forwards, log cabin style, just to build a little bit of height in that corner so that I could put this much bigger, uh, this much bigger support beam down across the length of it onto the top of the crib. It's fallen down a little bit, I think, since I left it, but um, I basically just blocked it up and I chucked this little wee floor on it. And if I remember correctly, I just put my fly over top of it here using these trees in the perimeter. And I was very cozy. As you recall, if I, if I do cor recall correctly, I think I slept in till like 10 o'clock the next morning. I had such a good sleep out here. All right, well, I'd better get this camping um, uh, campsite bushcraft thing wrote on the show on the road because I'm uh, running out of sun. Yeah, sun says in about five, 10 minutes. So um, this is what I've got. I've got this little wee tiny patch of ground that I can just lay myself out on and that's pretty much-ish flat. And I'm gonna just pile a bunch of leaves up here Top that off with a bunch of these fronds, ferns, punga things. Um, little thing, tarp down on the ground, tarp over top of me. I'm gonna do a closed in tarp, I think tonight. Nice and tight. See if I can't stay nice and toasty warm. Sure enough, I'm grabbing me a heap of um, ferns. I've just built up a little bit of a bed here of leaves in the background. It's not terribly thick. It's only, I don't know, it's only a couple inches thick. It's not going to be but, but all when it's actually compressed. I'm going to head up here and I'm going to get a bunch more ferns. I'm going to lay down a bunch of ferns on top of that. Get a bit of a base layer added layer. So now, and I'm running down light, so you're probably not going to see this thing. Well, welcome inside everyone. <clears throat> Just, uh, I'm gonna close it up here. I've got my beanie on, I've chucked on my extra layer of polypros. And because I knew I was spending the night outside, of course I've got my sleeping bag here with me tonight, so I'm not um, needing to run around and collect big massive heaps of insulation layers. Uh, basically what I've run out and I've done is I've raked up the ground around my vicinity and I formed that into one little line of leaves. So it was just a couple inches thick. When it's fluffy, so it's not really doing a whole lot anyways, but on top of that, I ran out and I gathered a whole bunch of um, punga fronds. So what I've done is I've laid them down, basically crisscross back and forth, big stalks, everything in there, um, just in a nice tight little strip, just the length of my body. That's gonna act as my little insulation layer. I've only got a wee thin little down sleeping bag, so as soon as I lay down, it's gonna be cold anyways. Anywho, we'll, um, flick you guys off and we'll catch you in the morning unless something crazy happens in the middle of the night. You never know. See you then. Good oh, morning everybody. It's uh, 10 to 6 here. I just popped my head out. Um, it's 
kind of calm down this morning. It was a little bit chilly overnight. Oh, where are we? Let's see if we bagged it okay. It says that its comfort is in the five, five zone and the transition at zero, which is not too bad. I, uh, we had two last night here in camp at, uh, at about one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning when I got up for a wee. That was, uh, yeah, about two degrees. So, I so I did okay, except for on the few spots that I'm touching the ground, not moving up, and just move my backpack slowly up the hill until I start to get a little bit of light, and then I'm just gonna creep around for a few hours and come back and pick up my pack and head on back down the hill, I think. I think that's the plan. All right, well, let's get to it, eh? Pitter patter, let's get at her. Just packed down, stripped off my extra layers. I started out really super overdressed this morning. I was out walking by 6 a.m. I headed down the ridge all fully bundled up and I just sort of intercepted that mob of goats. Couldn't get a good shot on my little brown eater goats so they all got to walk today. I was running out of time for the day. Had to make it back to my pack. It turns out it wasn't all that bad. They only led me off about uh, uh, half a kilometer, 600 meters. So it was a nice easy walk back down the track. Obviously a new active possum trap line going, going on up on this trail here because there's some <coughs> sort of fresh boot tracks in and out over the last couple of days. And you see two, um, two dead possums this morning hanging out of these neck traps. So that's a good sign. getting them. Anyway, that's me. I'm walking back now, heading back downhill. Should be a fast, easy stroll out of here. Packs nice and light. Should be flying. I like it here, 24 hours later. These two big fat buggers. I haven't even left their trees. Exact same trees where they were when I left them yesterday. 